Hello, I'm Phil and I review software and I've just seen myself in the screen and I need a shave, but I've got too much software to bring you. I can't, I've not got time for it. This is a fantastic, revolutionary, it really is an amazing piece of software that could change the way people edit videos. I get excited about it because I actually use this and it is such a cool tool that I don't think many of you are aware of. It's called Descript. Now, this is actually going to be more of a demonstration video and it'll probably be one of my longer videos because I'll go into the exact way that I edit videos and then sometimes add subtitles using Descript. But before I do, I love reviewing software. I'd love more people to find out about it. If you click that subscribe button and like the videos when you see them, it just helps me so much grow this channel. So it really is appreciated. Thank you. So are you ready? You're going to like this. Give this a chance and watch it through. Let's jump in to Descript. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to load a file, a video up to Descript. We will do this in real time and I'll probably speed it up and tell you how long it took. So I've spelt it wrong. Tadei Cal. Anyway, this is a video I've made about another piece of software called Tidy Cal and it's uploading the video now and it says the transcript will be ready in a few minutes because it's not just uploading the video, it is also analysing the video and taking a transcript of it. Why this is an amazing piece of software is what it will do with this transcript, the script of the video of me talking. It'll convert it basically into a Word document that I can highlight, copy, cut, delete, alter. And as it alters the Word script, the Word document, it actually edits the video to go along with it with really good cut editing. I'm telling you, it's really good software. Uh, so. We'll probably fast forward this bit now. Let's see how long it takes to, to do it. We've been going for about 30 seconds now. Here we go. That was fast. That was fast. It's ready. There you can see over there is the transcript of the video. Hi, I'm Phil and I review software. And there's me on the right. You can reduce the size so you can have the video smaller or bigger. Let's just click play on it and just have a look how it's transcribed it. I'm Phil and I review software and we're looking at a fantastic little app called Tidy Cal. It's an online booking system where people can go onto a web page. So you can see that it's scrolling through the text as I speak. And as I said, this is just a Word document and you can highlight it and you can delete words. Now, this is the way I do it. The first thing I do is cut all of my mistakes out of it. Before I start, now, the second part is that I will be detecting transcription errors. So these are words where maybe it hasn't picked it up right and I can go through and correct them, but there's no point me doing that on bits of the script that I'm just going to delete anyway because I made a mistake and I do make plenty of mistakes. So the first thing I'm going to do is find all my mistakes. So on this video, I was all right up to that bit. Uh, and then from this bit onwards, I started making mistakes. And it's really easy to use. Before we do jump into it and show you around, do click subscribe if you want to find great reviews on software. Do click. So you can see that I've sort of waffled and repeated stuff and let's look. So I just highlight the text and I know that I've gone up to there. So that's that's the last bit. I always look at the last bit where I repeat a script because obviously you keep on doing it till you get it right. So I go up to that bit. I just highlight that and delete it and it's edited and I'll just press play again now I'll just so I'll show you how that's edited it's on a cut edit watch the screen world to schedule a zoom meeting or a call before we jump in if you could click subscribe it really helps me and it doesn't cost you anything if you could click subscribe like any videos you like and see more of my reviews of software and other stuff but now let's jump in to but now let's jump in to tidy cal so obviously I've done that but now let's jump in twice so just highlight that text and delete it. And let's look at the edit. Look how good it is. Other stuff. But now let's jump in to Tidy Cal. You can't even see the edit. It's that good with the cut. You'll see as well, there's a couple of words that are like, and see more. But I will change that later on. I'll correct that later on. You'll see how. Uh, and we keep on going through the video. So here you see, here you see the Tidy Cal screen, and the first thing you do is set up your booking type. So if you run an online business, somebody can book you for 15 minutes, for 30. So obviously I'm going to get rid of the here you see. And press play. Here you see the Tidy Cal screen, and the first thing you do is set up your booking type. So if you run so an online business, somebody can book you for 15 minutes, for 30 minutes, 
or for 60 minutes. Uh, you can embed all... You can get rid of your ears if you want to. I don't get rid of all my ears. I don't know about you. It's authentic. If you're just cutting and get rid of every single slight little ear, uh, maybe if they go a bit silly, these onto your website. So if you want to put it into your website, you can just embed the code into your website and you can adjust it. You'll see the gap here. So I want to get rid of all of that. So, and you can adjust it goes and all that. Hopefully that long pause does. And now we click play your websites and you can edit it. You can include the price in it's there. It's amazing. Can... This is really good software. It's, it could change the way people edit. They've got a new storyboard coming very soon that I'm on the beta, hope, the beta program from. That'll be even more amazing. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do now. So we'll probably pause this video now and I will just edit the rest of the script. So it's more or less what I want the final video to be. But then I might change some words, I might check the transcription you'll see what i'm going to do so pause the video i'll edit the rest of the video so it's ready to go and we'll come back when we are ready to do the next step i'm back again now and we are detecting transcript errors so i've got my script i'm happy with it now i've got rid of all the bits and bobs where i've repeated stuff and started again and here's the script i'm happy with but as you probably saw as we were going through it there are a few words that have come out wrong like i know tidy cal translated to tidy cow <laughs> Uh, and a few other things. So that's the next step to detect transcription errors. And it's going to find the words that it thinks it made a mistake with. And here they are. So you can see that what it, where it thinks it made a mistake, it's underlined all of those words in green. Now to start correcting these, I right click on the green and I say start correction wizard is so clever this software i review software and we're looking at a fantastic so that was all right i do speak quickly but and where is correct or anything if you could click subscribe if you could click subscribe so i just simply type c-o-u-l-d click subscribe once i'm happy with it like any videos you like and see more like any videos you like probably not the best things you like yet and see more of my reviews of and see more so <laughs> delete and see more if you're not going to use this to create subtitles once you're happy with your video you can just export it download it i'm only doing this because i'm trying to get it so that i can put subtitles on my video of my reviews of software so of becomes of to tidy cal and we've got to correct tidy cal so back again so we've been through all of the detect transcription errors and we've corrected them and then if i wanted to i could go through it again and just check on any words that weren't right maybe get rid of the errors i don't use this so much because unless i've made a lot of errors the odd err i think is a good thing but click on remove filler words it's found the errors and I can click delete apply to all delete and it's got rid of my three errors I'll leave them in this time so you can see it but yeah so there goes the filler words uh, and then if I want to shorten word gaps again there's a few pauses in the video but I try and leave that in uh, so we've got a script now which is more or less correct and we're ready to add subtitles to it. Um, uh, so just show you a manual edit now. So just like on a normal video editing program, there's a big long gap here that lasts 16 seconds. So you can see the timeline. Actually, I'm gonna have to move myself out of this one. Sorry, I'm gonna disappear now. <laughs> no, I'm still there, just little. Hang on. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> right, so there you go. You can see the timeline, the wonders. Uh, and just simply I can now split that up now so just right click and split clip and I want to go to fast forward it now Whee! hang on zoom out so just like on a normal video editing and I'm gonna go I want to go to here and I think that's already split that clip so I want to get just just get rid of that piece of silence if I'd done the detect silencing, it would have got rid of it automatically. Press delete, and now this is what it looks like. So just like 
a normal video editor you can do it the traditional way jump in to tidy cal here you see the tidy cal screen and the first and it's worked right let me move me back down here <laughs> oh gonna make me big again there you go <laughs> the software i use to make these videos by the way is called Medicam. have a look at me other video uh great stuff one more thing to show you, you can manually adjust the text. Maybe it's put a full stop in, you don't want a full stop there or a capital letter. Or I just noticed that Office 365 was Office 360. So you simply highlight it and press correct. Or just press the E button, the letter E is the shortcut for it. So I'm just gonna change that to Office 365, correct and it is manually changed it so that's one more thing to show you and that is the basics of how you get your video edited really quickly and now we're going to move on to adding really cool fonts and subtitles especially if you're editing tiktok videos on this or short form videos where you want to put cool subtitles up so here we go with subtitles so i want to add subtitles to the whole script so i select all of the script or i could just click Control A, and then it's Control K, which brings up all of the shortcuts. And I want to add fancy fonts. So it's insert fancy captions. So now if I go back to the start, it's got the captions added for the whole video. Press play. I'm Phil and I review software. I'm looking at a fantastic little app called Tidy Cal. So I'm going to change the font on this because I actually want a font that's all capitals. So then I don't have to worry about messing about changing capitals in the script because I'm quite lazy. Right, so I'm going to use a font called Bulby One. Why? Because it's a decent font that's a capital fault font, so I don't have to worry about <laughs> punctuation. I've just been a little bit lazy, to be honest with you. Press play. I'm Phil and I review software. I'm looking at a fantastic little app called Tidy Cal. As you can see, that we've got a video system. now with really cool. Go onto a web page, subtitles, or click on an email link and book a slot with you. It could be used in the real world for a hairdresser or somebody who has appointments like a personal trainer, or it could be used in the virtual side. Titles. Like any videos you like and see more of my reviews of software and other stuff. But now let's jump in to Tidy Cal. Hey, how cool is that? Fantastic, really cool subtitles. And of course, say I'm doing the video there. Of course, I can just add another. I can move that around to wherever I want it to be on the screen. And then when you are ready, to import your video. There's a lot more I want to tell you about Descript. It can actually learn your voice, artificial intelligence. So I can record about 30 minutes of my voice talking and then I can paste a script into there and it will artificially generate a script for my video. You can do all of the normal stuff when you're editing. You can adjust the volume of your clips. You can do everything in a normal video editor. But the key is for speed that you can upload a video. It will generate the script you can edit that script and it will edit the video at the same time which really is a game changer there's so much more stuff coming up with Descript they've got this storyboard feature coming up uh, but it is an amazing piece of software so when I use Descript well I do use it I still use Wondershare Filmora as well it depends what I'm editing or sometimes I use both I might edit the video in Descript and then upload it to Filmora to add effects or whatever but wow yes I use Descript is it versatile? It's not so much versatile, it's just revolutionary the way it's editing videos in a completely new way. And of course, with artificial intelligence and learning your voice, you could actually create YouTube videos where you just type in the script and it'll make the voice. I'm gonna try that and make another video about it soon. Recommend it to friends, anybody in the editing world who is my friend, try Descript. Just try it. You might not like it, you might just wanna go back to your normal ways, but just give it a try and see if you're like, wow, because as soon as I first used it, it blew my mind. If you fancy trying Descript, the link is in the description, which will give you a free trial of most of the features. And please subscribe to my wonderful channel uh, for honest reviews on software, I'm trying to demonstrate them as if you're not an expert yet, you're learning like me, so that you get the learning curve and how long it's gonna take you to pick it up. So Descript, definitely worth trying out if you edit videos. You might not like it, but I love it. And I will see you next time for another cool, <laughs> hopefully, uh, video. See you next time.